And we are back, visiting one of our best local national parks, Mountain Zebra Park, situated 12 kilometers outside of Craddock and only 300 kilometers from hometown, East London, Eastern Cape. True South African, international or sorry? Uh, sorry. South African. We did book for two nights and uh, after signing in with very friendly and helpful staff, it was playtime. Our aim for the weekend is to relax, enjoy the gravel roads and searching for animals, but not limited to tracking or spotting predators, which they have. Camping, brow fires and red wine and plenty of exploring is on our menu. Anything else will just be a bonus. Welcome chaps, second time back here at Mountain Zebra Park. And, uh, about a year ago we decided to uh, come here with a trailer and now we've got our new rig so we're going to give it a bash. Also last year this summer was uh, winter which was like 3 degrees and now we are at 28 degrees so let's see what it's like. But uh, we came in we were greeted by some red hartebeers, some zebra, a little tiger or a steam book. So uh, let's see if we can find a camp spot. So we'll do like normal little quick walk through of the revolutions, but this is pretty much our campsite and uh, yeah, our first uh, weekend away with a new rig. Suspension being done, done up as you guys, if you watched the previous episode, you would have seen that. But yeah, it's a quick little side view once again. Beautiful wife with a beautiful hallux, <laughs> beautiful decor. And we're looking quite small in comparison with our neighbor, which is massive at the other side. So one day, when I'm big, we'll have a rig like that, boys. One day. <laughs> the bathrooms at Mountain Zebra Park are fantastic. They are clean, they are spacious. The water was boiling even at half past eight, nine last night when we showered. Um, enough toilets and showers to go around. No queuing as I happen to do in the Kruger. And we just walk out to the laundry area. This has everything you need to make a long stay very comfortable. Chaps, I don't normally do the bra recording and everything, but um. I thought I got to share our first night here at uh, Mountain Zebra Park and uh, it's an absolute pearl of the evening. Good morning. It's our uh, first morning here, morning, Mountain Zebra Park. And it is, uh, it's about, it's before six. So uh, it's nice and early. But uh, we have heard line already, which is quite nice, because last time we, uh, we missed the line. So we had a good night's sleep. I'm still a little bit tired. I'll pick up a coffee, breakfast, and then let's get this highlights. I gotta see what we can see in this park here. Yeah. With plenty of gravel loops to choose from, we tried Roy Hook and Kranzkop, both completely covered with different vegetation and surroundings, and all very well marked. The park offers three 4x4 loops, all between 8 and 14 kilometers long, and are graded 2 to 4, which was closed to the public due to excessive rain and we did not get a chance to play in the mat with the Hullux, sadly. This did, however, give me more time to practice my camera skills. Park boasts with over 1,000 Cape Zebra Mountains. There is just something about these striped donkeys that makes me want to take more and more photos of them.
how big this park actually is. Well, I read that um, it originally started in the early 1900s, um, 1937, I think, yeah. with only 1,700 hectares. I mean, that's very small. And now, with 23,000 plus hectares of roaming, it is no wonder these animals are in such great shape. So we've had a nice drive, morning drive. Seen uh, no, no line really, no cheetahs. But we did hear the line last night. Oh, this morning. And this morning. Early, early this morning. Early hours of this morning yes. we heard the line. But uh, it's just after one and we're a little bit peckish. So we had some of uh, last night's left of prime meat, but uh, I think it's time to go and have a proper lunch here. See what it's like. After a delicious venison burger and a few much appreciated beverages, we laze around for a while and then head back to camp where we just needed to light a fire again and soak up the pleasures of life. It's times like this that makes us realize just how fortunate we are to live in such a beautiful country. Hello, Andrew. Hello, And just like that, another lovely weekend came to an end. Thank you for watching and hope to see you guys out camping very soon.